Good morning, fam. I hope everybody's doing well. And in today's video, we're going to be taking you through an entire day's worth of photography uh, in a little video I like to call Scenes from the Road. Just going to chill out, relax, show you some images that I've taken today on the uh, Fuji GW690 Mark II with some Kodak Ektar 100 and just hang out. I started the day out in Boston and I rarely shoot out here because it's just so busy and my anxiety kind of starts to peak when uh, when I'm out in Boston and uh, I usually just kind of hide out in my car. But today I tried to push past that and, and get some shots around the seaport district. My first image was of these orange barrels, but I did forget that the lens cap was on. So that image obviously didn't turn out, but I do have an image from the day before of these exact barrels that I kind of liked. So after Boston, I kind of felt a little bit burnt out. So I decided to head up to uh, Revere Beach and uh, try to get some images there. It's really, really nice during the off season because there's not a ton of people out there. I really like this image and most of it is because of the lens on the GW690 and how Ektar renders colors. But a uh, huge shout out to the GW because jeepers, this is super sharp. And you got that cute little bird just hanging out in the corner. I zoomed in a whole bunch so you guys could see it and still great detail. So this was my last day with uh, Matt's uh, Fuji GW690 and uh, I used it to scout some locations after I had some plans canceled and I couldn't think of a better way to send this camera off than just kind of letting uh, these, these images sort of speak for themselves in this video. Perhaps not a forever goodbye because I am in the market for one of these cameras but I really love just how sharp these images are and uh, certainly shooting kind of heading towards twilight it really begins to take on a whole different form. As sun started to set and the brisk cold air came in, and by the way, it was very cold and very, very windy, uh, I started to head back home and I wanted to gather some shots around Worcester at twilight. And you guys know I'm not a huge twilight shooter or, or golden hour shooter. Um, but these are just not that terrible, even though the wind was terrible. And of course, what trip to Worcester wouldn't be complete without revisiting the bounder at the recycling plant? This time, Ray, the owner, popped his head out to say hi, and uh, he wasn't spying from inside the camper this time. But in fairness, it is his property, so he has every right to spy. But uh, it's really important to build relationships with people, uh, especially people that you're photographing their property. 
um, it really goes a long way in sort of smoothing things over and sort of taking that burden of, of the anxiety of shooting a strange location sort of, I don't know, just kind of out of the equation. But probably my favorite images that I shot that day uh, came after I left Worcester and after golden hour kind of passed heading into blue hour. I, uh, I wanted to capture these power lines that I really, really enjoyed. Um, just sort of some of that natural motion from the wind on the left with those, those, uh, those reeds and uh, just sort of the symmetry with the power lines. I kind of, I like the simplicity of this scene, but the next one where I came up to the barn, this little scene was really speaking to me. This is a place that I drive by very, very often. I mean, almost on, uh, I'd say, a bi-daily basis. And it recently went abandoned. And maybe it was the lighting or just that I needed to burn off the last few frames of my Ektar roll that uh, made me stop. But I couldn't help but be blown away by this cute little scene. certainly warrants being shot again and maybe you'll see more of it in the coming weeks or maybe not we're gonna figure that out together but i want to thank you all so much for watching and uh, hanging out with me this is just a quick little video just to showcase um the the gw690 and like i said a little earlier in this video i am in the market for one and uh, i think i'm probably gonna pull the trigger on one at some point um but yeah as always join my patreon please i love it I hope you guys enjoy it too. A lot of exclusive content over there. And uh, it's a great way to build the community. So with that all being said, I will see you all in the next one. Bye.